While there have been nearly hundreds of animatronics introduced to the FNAF franchise, only a few hold the title of being the scariest. In today's list, I'm looking at every animatronic and selecting the ones I feel succeed in being terrifying. So with that, here is the scariest animatronics in FNAF. Enjoy. So starting off, we have the puppet. The puppet is scary in a way that is different from the other animatronics. First of all, the mystery behind the puppet is the scariest part of it. Obviously now we know a lot of the puppet's backstory, but back then the puppet was just very mysterious and that added to the overall fear of the character. Also the design of the puppet, the just really eerie feel it has when it's on screen just really adds to that level of fear that I get when I see the puppet. And as a kid, the puppet did make me have nightmares. Literally, I would fear walking around the house just out of fear of seeing the puppet. I don't know why, it was weird. And I think that adds to the just lifelessness of the puppet. It looks like it shouldn't be moving, but it is. And that kind of goes to all the animatronics, but none does it better than the puppet. And I think the music box really adds to the level of fear because you know as that music box starts to end, you risk unleashing the puppet. Next is going to be Springtrap. Springtrap has a really gory design, which is kind of a far stretch from what we had previously in the franchise so far up to this point. No animatronic really tapped into that gore potential until obviously we met Springtrap, who is a human being morphed into a animatronic and it is really disturbing when you actually see the backstory of William Afton. It's really gory stuff. The death screens really add to that overall uneasiness Springtrap gives. If you see in the death screens, he kind of has the suit on him and he's trying to take it off, but eventually he just stops and stares at the camera or stares at whatever and you could just see he just embraces the suit acting as a full-fledged killer like if you think about it springtrap is one of the only animatronics maybe the only animatronic that actually enjoys killing or besides vanny but we don't talk about vanny so next we're going down into the depths of the facility at sister location where we meet ened a amalgamation of all the funtime animatronics mixed into one being this character acts as the forefront bad guy. The clown look of Enid is just terrifying. The mask kind of acts as a face for Enid, which hides a much more terrifying creature underneath. Enid is a very deadly animatronic, actually going ahead and defeating the security guard, which is a first in the series. Also, Enid's overall goal is pretty terrifying. It wants to blend in with society, and to do so, it uses the security guard in sister location, literally opening us up and going inside us. Yes, it is really disturbing stuff. Enid is so determined to become a part of society that it even follows the security guard home on the Night 5 secret boss level and literally shows up in our house uninvited and just scrolls on the screen. That is disturbing. So I think it's safe to say that Enid acts as the ultimate stalker animatronic in the FNAF universe. Moving on to FNAF 6, we have Scrap Baby. This is essentially Circus Baby, but just really destroyed and a much more terrifying version of it. First and foremost, Scrap Baby is massive. The animatronic reaches seven foot and is an absolute monster when it comes to size. Another thing about Scrap Baby is the design. Scrap Baby looks like a morbid being. It looks like that if it wanted to, it could take you apart in a matter of seconds. Scrap Baby's claw also kind of solidifies this overall ideology. And I really like that in Help Wanted 2, they actually used the claw as one of Scrap Baby's weapons. In the jump scare, Scrap Baby just uses the claw and makes you dead. And just how overall cold-blooded this animatronic is. It just really wants to kill the security guard and does everything in its power to do so. We hear this through her death screens, even in the Night 6 intermission audio log with Henry Emily. We hear the absolute insanity that is Scrap Baby. Back to the facility at sister location, we have Ballora. Ballora is an animatronic that I think is really looked past upon on her fear factor alone. She's by far the most unsettling animatronic in the whole franchise. Her backstory, which is obviously theory related, but still I hold it as canon, 
is that, well, William Afton killed his wife and stuffed her in the Ballora animatronic. So it's essentially a really disturbing past, which is amplified when we walk through Ballora's gallery. We hear the lullaby of Ballora. It sounds as if she's wondering, wondering where she is, what she's doing here, and is finally just giving up and becoming a full-fledged monster. The way Ballora dances so steadily, yet has a eerie and almost alien feel to the animatronic. And then the actual jump scare, which is just Ballora opening up her faceplate to reveal the true monster underneath. She eyes us down, ready to deliver the final blow. Moving back to FNAF 2, we have Withered Chica. This animatronic is purely look-wise the scariest in FNAF 2. She definitely got the worst treatment out of all the animatronics during the old pizzeria, her jaw being clenched open and we can see inside her already existing jaw, there's the animatronic jaw, she has four sets of teeth, that's a lot of teeth. Her arms being missing, she looks like a wandering jellyfish but the camera poses are definitely the best part of Withered Chica. In the paper pal camera, the way Withered Chica stands there, lifelessly against the paper pal, is one of the things about FNAF 2 that still haunts me to this day. I really think this is the best camera pose in the whole FNAF universe. It's just, Withered Chica is so unsettling when it comes to just her design that it alone makes her one of the scariest in the whole franchise. Moving on to FNAF 4, this is going to be Nightmare Bonnie. Ever since the teasers for FNAF 4, Nightmare Bonnie was always one of the scariest animatronics. Nightmare Bonnie by far, for me, looks the scariest out of all the Nightmare animatronics. I always found that Bonnie had some of the scariest just designs in the series, and well, Nightmare Bonnie is the best out of the just Bonnie designs. Next is going to be Music Man. Music Man for me is similar to the puppet in terms of design. I find that the lifelessness of the animatronic allows just for a lot of imagination to what Music Man is really up to. And another thing about Music Man is the clappers. Music Man has these clappers, which in UCN, they're actually used as an indicator to where Music Man is according to where your office is. So if you hear them very loudly, then he's right next to your office. And I find that hearing those clappers starting to get louder is one of the most terrifying things I've ever witnessed. And the overall sounds that Music Man makes really gives the player something to really fear. Even with Security Breach, with the little Music Mans chasing you through the vents, it's just really terrifying stuff. Music Man really does make you question what it is and who is controlling it, and it just really makes for a entertaining and also terrifying character. Moving on to second, this is going to be Knight Marion. First of all, it's literally death. Knight Marion in the FNAF universe is death. This is confirmed in Help Wanted. The puppet itself already terrified me, so you can imagine when a nightmare version of the puppet was created, I absolutely lost my mind. For a time, I'd literally have to turn off my iPad when I saw Nightmare On pop up on my recommendation because I just hated this animatronic. It looked terrifying for me as a kid. Nightmare On is like a combination of everything that I fear into one being. It gives me this Slenderman feel, but also has this FNAF feel that I just kind of find absolutely terrifying. And for the top spot, the scariest character in FNAF, this is Nightmare. It's pretty much Fredbear, but just 10 times more scarier. This animatronic is the big bad of FNAF 4, and you can tell with the, first of all, design. The eyes, they're bloodshot red. This thing looks like it's made to just end your life. It's terrifying. It's also a very massive animatronic, kind of giving into that circus baby kind of feel of just doom. Like, if this thing pops up in your hallway, you're not making it out. And that feeling of doom when you hit 4am on night 7 and you have to face off against Nightmare is one of the feelings that you won't forget. It's a truly terrifying experience and with the whole thing about Nightmare sometimes faking its laughs to make you 
lose the game is for me another thing that makes Nightmare just an absolute monster. This thing is the epitome of fear in FNAF. Alright, that was the top 10 scariest FNAF animatronics. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another FNAF video, well, on screen here is the most forgettable animatronic in each game. And there's also just another random FNAF video for you to watch. But anyways, until next time, take it easy and goodbye.